Here's one way you can help ensure success in your ferments. And I get asked this all the time when I'm spraying my bottles of fermenting vessels and why it's still foamy when I put stuff in there. Well, that's because I'm using this stuff, a no rinse brewing sanitizer. This is usually used for home brewing to make sure all your equipment is clean, but I also like to use it when I'm fermenting anything else. But sanitization is not entirely necessary for some ferments like kimchi or sauerkraut. And a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. This bottle comes with this nifty dosing thing above to make it easier to dose. I like to keep mine in a spray bottle for convenience. So all I'll need is about this much. I'll add it to my spray bottle, then top it up with tap water. And this will last me around a month, maybe more if I'm not fermenting as much. Now it's ready to use. After washing with dish soap and water, I'll spray down my bottle or jar, let it drip any excess, and then use it for fermenting. And because this is no rinse, it's safe to use despite any residue and won't impart any flavor into your ferments.